Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Shocker Hitch Air Receiver with adjustable ball mount for 2 inch hitches. This features an airbag and cushioned bump stops that provide a smooth and comfortable ride while limiting chucking and jerking to give you a better control of your tow vehicle and trailer, helping to extend the life of your truck and trailer by protecting them from unnecessary wear and tear and reducing noise and rattle common when towing with standard ball mounts. So this is going to hook your trailer to your tow vehicle with the included adjustable ball mount and two inch ball. Now included are two easy to remove pins and clips and these pins have these large rings that are gonna be very easy to grasp. I can stick up to about four of my fingers uh, through each of these rings and then they can be folded um, to get out of your way as well. So you're not gonna be fumbling with um, small hitch pin heads and these large safety clips are going to make uh, removing the clips and replacing them very easy, very uh, effortless. So let me go ahead and just give you a brief demonstration of um, how this can be adjusted. So I have this at the maximum rise position and that maximum rise is going to be right, right at about two inches. And then let me go ahead and remove our pins and just drop this down. And let me see if we can put it all the way down to our maximum drop. Line up our holes here. And our maximum drop is going to be right about one inch. So those pins go in pretty easily. And then let me turn this around and replace our clips. And we are good to go. So very easy to um, adjust this. Again, our maximum rise is about two inches. The maximum drop is about one inch. The inside width of this channel is about three and three quarters inches. And then the distance between the vertical adjustment holes is gonna be one inch. Now you can mount any shocker hitch accessory, including a pintle hook, a clevis pin, and drawbar attachments in the channel to hook up to even more trailers. Of course, those attachments are sold separately, but you can find them under the related product section on this product page if you are interested in checking out those other attachments by Shocker Hitch. Now this air hitch works like a teeter-totter with the airbag on one end and your trailer coupler on the other end. And as your trailer exerts force downward, the unit pivots and the airbag absorbs the energy. And when your trailer jerks backwards or pushes forward, these two cushioned bump stops are going to reduce the force for a smoother ride. Now the airbag is easily adjustable. For heavier loads, you would just simply add more air and for lighter loads, you would just let the air out. And we have a valve right here that's going to make adding or removing air very easy. To determine the correct amount of air to use, you would simply hook your trailer up and then load the trailer the way you are going to tow it. And then you want to add air until these bump stops begin to compress. And once they begin to compress, then you should have the right amount of air in your airbag for your load and you are ready to go. This has a Zerk fitting right here at the pivot point that's going to make maintenance very simple. And this is made in the USA of a grade 50 steel plate construction and a cold rolled steel shank to provide maximum durability. It is also shot blasted and powder coated to prevent rust and the ball itself is zinc plated. The gross towing weight is 12,000 pounds and the tongue weight is 1,200 pounds, but you do want to remember that a towing setup is always limited by its lowest rated component, whether that be your vehicle, your hitch, or another component. Again, this is going to fit your 2-inch trailer hitch receiver. The hitch pin hole diameter is 5 eighths of an inch, and a pin and clip is not included with this, so if you do not have uh, a compatible pin and clip already that would be a separate purchase. 
However, this is really an investment that you are making. So I would recommend considering the uh, infinite rule locking pins for shocker hitch ball mounts. Those are gonna work with two inch and two and a half inch hitches. You're gonna get three locking pins, two to lock your attachment to your shocker hitch and one to lock and secure um, your actual shocker air hitch to your vehicle. On your screen, I am including our item number to those locking pins. Just take that item number, put it in the search field of our website here at eTrailer.com, and that'll take you to those locking pins so you can secure this to your vehicle. The distance from the first hitch pin hole to the center of the ball is 10 and a quarter inches, and from the second hitch pin hole to the center of the ball is 11 and a quarter inches. Now this does require a minimum of seven inches of clearance between the center of the hitch pin hole and the rear most point of your truck and five inches of clearance below the bottom of your receiver tube. Your receiver opening should be flush with the bumper or protruding from the rear of your vehicle for best, pit, uh, best fit. And finally, this will not fit SUVs, CUVs, or sedans due to limited clearance. And this will not fit a two and a half inch hitch, even with a reducer sleeve, because trucks with a two and a half inch hitch have deeper frames. Well, that's gonna conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.